Really quickly, I like to save episodes from Overcast into a data store for episodes that I really enjoyed or may, might want to refer back to at some point. And up until now, I've been using drafts and I've been saving them in Markdown format using this shortcut. And basically it parses it out and it creates my uh, text format here that I want to use. And then it appends it to the draft. And that's that. Oops, my, okay, there we go. But now I want to use data jar because then I can get the information out easier, parse it easier, create reports, searches, whatever I want to do, right? I mean, this is just, yeah, podcast, saving a podcast might not seem that useful, but this is just my one example. So, I so there's have, some shorthand in there. I need to have it playing. I need it to be the current episode. And then I can come in here and run this. And basically I grab the share link, which is just another shortcut that says, am I sharing from Overcast? Do I already have the link or do I need to grab it uh, from the Overcast action? Uh, and then uh, I recommend it. I grab the web page. I get the image for the artwork. I replace some characters. I create the string I want. Then I split it. And then I've got the episode name, the podcast name, the date that I listened to it at, and, and the URL. And then I take the URL. I strip out all the special characters by grabbing just the word characters. And then I make that into my URL key. That's my episode key. So that when I stick it in here, that's the key for the dictionary. Uh, and then I, if I search the favorite podcast dictionary to see if that episode key already exists. If not, I create a new dictionary. And that has the episode name, podcast name, episode URL, episode date. I shove that dictionary inside the favorite podcast dictionary using the episode key. And then I grab the image and I add that to the podcast episode dictionary, episode image key. And because I can't do it in the dictionary up here, I, uh, in shortcuts, dictionaries can't take files as an item apparently. Otherwise it tells me it already exists. And so it goes something like this. That's the result, of course. And if we come in here, there it is. Uh, there's the episode name. There's the episode URL. There's the podcast name. There's the date that I listened to it. And there's the artwork.